Hello, this is Reza Rad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between Data Wrangler and uh, Power Query Editor. What are similarities? What are differences when you should use each of these tools? Let's go and check it out. So Data Wrangler and uh, Power Query Editor, they both are tools that uh, we use for data transformation, which makes it um, sometimes um, challenging to find out which one you should use. Uh, the Power Query Editor is the tool that we usually use uh, in relation with Power BI or Excel when we want to transform the data. What you see right now is a view of Power Query Online Editor, but there is also Power Query uh, Desktop as part of Power BI Desktop or Excel. Um, Power Query um, integrate with other um, tools and services components such as Power BI, Excel, Power Apps. Uh, it provides a rich um, data transformation editor that you can apply transformations without writing code. Uh, and it helps a lot. This uh, tool helps for day-to-day -day data transformation. On the other hand side, we have Data Wrangler, which I have a, another video about it in details what it is. Data Wrangler is a similar tool in some case. It's a tool that you use for data transformation transformation, data preparation. However, there are differences in terms of the functionality, in terms of how you launch it, in terms of uh, how this um, is different from uh, Power Query Editor. Both of these tools are good for data transformation, data preparation, but in scenarios that you use each might be different. So let's talk about these. Uh, the first thing you need to understand when you are looking at the difference between these two is that um, what type of work you want to do, what task you want to do with the data, which also sometimes determines uh, what type of persona you have dealing with the data. Are you a data scientist or you are a data, um, data analyst? Do you want to build it as part of an overall BI application or you want to use this uh, as part of a Python code that runs to um, that runs some machine learning experiences and you want to do data preparation beforehand. So depending on these, um, you might choose one over the other. Uh, let's start from uh, Power Query, for example. Power Query is uh, what we call an ETL tool, Extract, Transform, Load. One of the main things about Power Query is that it supports many data sources. When I go to the Get Data experience of Power Query, uh, even though it is Power Query online, uh, you can see the number of data sources supported. We have over 200 data sources supported in Power Query, uh, and uh, this is available in most of the most of the editions of Power Query um, versus um, in uh, in Data Wrangler, you don't have this many. You are only getting what function supported through the library of pandas, uh, library named pandas in Python. Uh, another thing about a Power Query uh, to do the transformation part, the ETL, the T part of it, is the vast amount of data transformation options available here. This is a rich UI to do the data transformation. For example, if I want to combine this table with another table, I have this rich UI which I can choose choose which table that I'm connecting. I can choose the field that these two tables are merging together. I can choose the type of merge. Uh, based on that, when I click OK, this will provide a, a view of the diagram view of how, how these two are combined. I can add another step on top of it. Um, and then once I have done all of these transformations, which there are quite a lot of transformations available up here, uh, then I can load it into a Destination. Destination data destination is another important part about, um, about um, Power Query. Now, depending on where you use Power Query Editor, destination might be available differently. For example, this is data flow Gen 2, so we have these four destinations available uh, compared to, um, compared to, for example, using Power Query Editor in Excel. When in that case, destination would be Excel sheet. And um, if you use Power Query in Power BI Desktop, destination would be Power BI dataset. If you use it as part of analysis services, it would be analysis services dataset. So depending on where you use it, you have different destination options available. So uh, that is why we call it ETL tool. It does extract many data sources, transformation, a lot of transformations, 
combining data, merging, and many other simple transformations as well. And then finally loading it into destinations, right? In addition to that, Power Query is much more accessible. You find it online as part of Power BI service, you find it in Power Gate Desktop, you find it in Power Apps Portal, in Excel, uh, you can find it in Analysis Services, Azure Analysis Services, and some um, late versions of Analysis Services as well. Um, so it's much more accessible. You can find it in many other places. The um, language behind the scene of this tool is M script. When I right click on any of these and go to the advanced editor, I'll see the scripting language here, which is M script. M is a language specifically designed for data transformation. It's not a language that covers a lot of other things and then do the transformation. Transformation is the only thing that this language does. Um, it's a function based language, so it is a not complicated language and it is quite powerful in terms of data transformation. So usually when we want to do anything with the data transformation, Power Query Editor is a great experience. It gives you a lot of features. On the other hand side, uh, the Data Wrangler is something that you load it from, um, from a um, Python uh, a script, let's say. First, you have to load your data using pandas, which is one of the libraries in uh, Python. You have to use some functions. For example, here I'm reading data from an Excel into, um, into uh, this object. And when that runs, then I can launch the data wrangler for that. So uh, it is a little bit limited experience compared to Power Query in terms of data transformation, uh, but still you see it gives me um, kind of similar experience. The difference is that here, if I apply any data transformation, what is coming out of this is actually um, a Python code. So when I apply some data transformation, for example, when I remove that, uh, let's say, column or something like that, what happens is that this gives me uh, some Python code. For example, I can say now let's sort this by this column and each of these would be um, each of these would be a Python code and you see the Python code here. Now you can just use this um, just use this transformation, this transform data and export it or you can say well I want this code to be added to a notebook which here I'm just going to exit this. Uh, here you can see that I have these codes added. So these codes are generated by um, by Data Wrangler, added as part of a larger Python code that runs through a notebook in Microsoft Fabric. So, um, so this generate Python code, which is quite different because uh, I might have a bigger Python application, bigger Python program that first prepares the data and then runs some uh, machine learning algorithms on that because Python is great in doing things like that, deep learning, machine learning. Um, and, uh, and I want all of that to be a part of one script instead of me going and writing these codes, these functions, finding out what function does what in terms of data transformation, Data Wrangler prepares that for me. So it, it saves time for a data scientist, for someone who wants to write Python code, you can generate that Python code easier. Uh, it's a different persona, as I mentioned. This is for a data scientist who wants to write Python code. It's just simplify the process. The UI is not as rich as graphical inter as the UI of the uh, Power Query editor, uh, but it still serves a purpose. It still um, saves time for a data scientist instead of creating that. If you want to just do the pure data transformation, you don't want to do it as part of a Python code or something like that, you might go and choose Power Query Editor. But on the other hand side, if you are um, a data engineer, a data scientist, and looking to build a Python code to, to do something, and as part of that, you have a bit of work that you are dealing with the data, prepare the data, transform the data, then Data Wrangler is definitely something to consider. I have uh, obviously wrote a blog article about it and I have this table in there as well, which you can go and check it. It's a difference between these two and um, uh, which uh, of these provide what type of functionality. For example, um, the primary function of Power Query Editor, which is ETL compared to what 
data wrangler does which is data preparation to generate the python code uh, in terms of transformations and sources and destinations power query editor is much more advanced but uh, on the other hand side uh, the Python code that generated by Data Wrangler can be helpful because then you can embed it inside a bigger Python script to run and build a machine learning um, and, and compile a machine learning algorithm and uh, train the data and do some other, other things around it. So there is no definite answer saying that Data Wrangler is better or Power Query Editor is better depending on which situation you go and choose um, each of these, depending on your requirement, depending on what type of user you are, you might have a different choice between these two. They both are great tools and I hope you enjoy using it in your Microsoft Fabric um, data solution. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you. Bye.